Good afternoon, morning, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers, and sisters. This is episode 43 of the Panorama Pandemonium Challenge. We move on then from the historic Mercedes to the A45 in the Road C1 category. Let's see how we do. From the old to the new, from rear wheel drive to front wheel drive. This is the second time I've attempted to record this, so hopefully we'll get underway. Now I know that it's all the toys on this car. Ooh, like it. Such quick gear changes with this car. I can barely see the rev counter though to know when to change gear. I'm relying pretty much on the uh, counter in the bottom right hand corner as I can barely see the uh, rev counter on the right there. Amazingly quick gear changes in this car. Oh goodness me! Someone's having a bad day and it wasn't anything to do with me this time. Oh that one was. That's quite a long fourth gear on this car. Oh, tripped over the Mitsubishi. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Come on, Mr. BMW. Uh oh, oops. Oh, sneak up the inside of that BMW and clout the wall. Run of them again. Oops. Too quick to come down to third. Oh, and he had ever ended up in the trap. That was a shame. I'd had a great start on this one. Get off. Whoops, too much. What am I aiming for then? Uh, 231.151. Curious again why this car's got things like stability control. Oh my goodness me, that was way too slow. <laughs> way, way, way too late on the uh, on the gear change there. Have to remember that this is a road car. We're having done quite a few GT cars or GT and touring cars, the uh, braking efficiency is. Well, it's good for a road car, but of course it isn't going to carry on, uh, stack up to the GTs. Ow, that was a painful clump that that BMW just had in the wall there. The, I'm assuming that would be a sat-nav telling me it's a Mercedes-Benz in case I forget. Because that fourth gear is so long, and the third just tops out, you're really kind of a no man's land. You need that third to be a bit longer, and the fourth to be a bit shorter. Ideally, so I'm just going right to the bottom of the rev range. That really does look like a Subaru esque skin on that Mitsubishi. Skin? Paint job? Yeah, you know what I mean. Ow! And that's another Lancer bouncing off the wall. I'm just bouncing off the rev limiter in third there. 
Oh, again. The bots are giving each other a bit of argy bargy that I usually get. And on we go. Get them again as well. Oops. Uh, on the grass there, never mind. That, I honestly thought that was going to be a bit early, but that was about right. Maybe leave it a fraction later, but uh, not much more than that. Paolo Miranda. was quite late. Just kept it on the road. 2.31 something or other I was aiming for. Not going to get it this time, but it's not far off. Oh, I have a BMW for company. What was it again? 2.31, 151. So, about 1.1 seconds to find that. And two laps in which to do it. Say off the wall. So, I just, I need that extra bit of torque there that it just is not available to me in the gears. Yeah, definitely not going to be changing the uh, bot level now for the rest of the series, I should think. Oh, that was close. Understeer, lots of understeer. Trying to attack these corners as much as possible. That's be a bad line there. A slight touch of the wall, that's okay. Seventh though. Not making too much of an impact on the cars ahead of me, but uh, I'm quite pleased that I've made it this far up the up the field. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Am I glad I have stability control? <laughs> I got a little bit uh, carefree with the brakes there. That would most certainly have been in the wall were it not for stability control keeping me uh, straight and true there as I nudge my fellow Mercedes. We're going to get the target time. Not quite. I'm a tenth away. Another couple of tenths, tenth and a half to find in this lap to get the target time. A clump of cars there. First to fourth, I think it must be. Yeah, because it's fifth directly ahead of me, Paolo Miranda. Oops, a little bit too much. Too early there. Oh, look at that. Uh, nearly a full second up. I didn't need that much, but I'll take it. Can you get this BMW? Yes, I can. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Yep, that'll do. 
Well, that's the wall. Yep. And down we go. Not really going to make an impact on the top four. I'm still 1.7 up. Despite uh, the mistakes I made up the mountain there. I will definitely take that. Lovely. Oops. Took a bit too much curb there. Too much, but should still be in far enough ahead of my time to nail that one. 230.2. Oh, what a lovely paint job on that. That is lovely. 230.2 dead. Nice. And quite a bit ahead of everybody else. What was ahead of me? Lancer and three BMWs. Very nice. Okay. Next car. What do we have? It is the CQP DTM. I'm envisaging this car not liking the bumps a great deal. But we'll see. We'll see. Single car category again. I like that paint job. Any toys? No, but I do have DRS. I'm just going onto the grass because out of habit. So. Manually deployable DRS. Lovely. I'm changing gear a bit early, I reckon. Or the uh, indicator at the bottom left, bottom right rather, was not going orange. <laughs> oh dear. Green green car had a bit of a bad day there. Be a bit cautious there. But, uh, I'm curious to know what on earth the uh, LED display at the on the uh, top of the windscreen there is four. Whoops. Hey ho. It is gripping the road pretty well so far, but it does get upset by the bumps. Yeah, the uh, number of the bottom right's not going orange for some reason. Through we go. Oh, it does go orange. When I can't change gear. I've got no more gears to change to. Oh, that was very early. Wow, that uh, goes up a long way into the revs for give me a gear ind change indicator bear in mind the LEDs are long since full before the overlay the uh, UI gives me the nod but there we go that was ridiculously early 209471 I'm going to rely on the LEDs on the dash I'm not convinced about <laughs> when the uh, game is telling me. I can brake pretty hard in this car without it locking up. Whoa! Does not like that. Oops. 
Oh, that's nice. 12 seconds up. <laughs> Again, a little bit cautious through there. I can definitely take that faster than that. Hey. I'm not really making an impact on the uh, guys ahead of me. I put my DRS on a bit early then, but uh, still managed to hold it. If anything, I'm actually forming a trail behind me. Again, probably too early on the brakes there. What was the time again? 209.471. Too early again. Whoa! Invent your own line, sir. Yeah, it was quite a way off that. Probably why I've got a lot of cars behind me. Alright, well, let's go with what the UI says for gear changing. I also need to trust in the grip that this car has got because it seems to have a lot of it. Oh, no sooner do I say that, I jinx myself and throw it in the wall. Get you back. Oh, that was... Surprising I got away with that. I was really a bit too aggressive in that section there. But this is a great car. It is handling the bumps really much better than I was expecting it would. Really easy to control this thing. Of course, without things like traction control, you are going to have to watch how the back end dances. But wow, this thing is amazing. I'm enjoying this car. Very, very much so. Still too early. Whoops. A bit uh, too heavy footed there. Oops. Not the way to do that. Lost all my uh, gain time there. I was a little bit better into turn one. Putting away from those behind me, but just not gaining on those ahead at all. Oh, two dates ending in there. Whoa! Oops! Attack that one a little bit more than I have been. Oh, still sticking! My foot is absolutely stuck to the ground, and it just sticks. What an amazing car this is! We all know how bumpy this track is. Oh, beautiful! Oh, 
And when it does start to go, you can catch it with a reasonable degree of competence. Even I can. Ooh. A bit better. Still a bit too late. Uh, too early, rather, on the brakes. So we're not really 100% sure where best to change up. Because of the uh, dashboard and the UI are nowhere near in line. Oh, but that's the time. Look at that. 208. Smashed it. Last lap, unfortunately, in this lovely car. Not the best way of taking turn one, but I think it was a bit quicker than I did it last time. But I have broken away from the pack behind me, and I think gained on these two guys ahead. And because the pack hasn't spread out any, I think that all these cars as is normally the way with single category cars yeah the field hasn't spread out very much so I'm on the right pace then this car has got so much more grip to use than I've been using oh, still managed to keep it out of the wall Oh dear. A God. Wonderful. In a lot of other cars, that would have been into the wall. Whoa! God, why did I open DRS there? What the hell was I thinking? <laughs> and still finding time. I honestly thought that was going to be too late, but that was about right, actually. And I'm going to beat my new best again! 207! What a car! There, 207. Which is actually around, you know, up here, this kind of pace. There's not a lot of difference, top to bottom. 211 seems to be the ones at the back. And I did set a 207. Okay, there was a 206 there, but. Oh, well pleased with that. It's a glorious machine. Oh, in case you didn't guess, I enjoyed that. That's it for this episode. Thank you very much. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye.